Sheboygan man charged and hit and run. Racine reduces fine for recreational marijuana. Missing man found. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Monday, April 8th, 2019. A Sheboygan man is facing a felony hit-and-run charge for an accident he caused last Thursday on Sheboygan's south side. Christopher Amador was charged after police were called to a crash on South 10th Street in Kentucky last Thursday. A woman whose vehicle was hit complained of chest and neck pain and was treated at the scene. A witness was able to get the license plate number of Amador's vehicle before he took off. Police made contact a short time later and arrested him. He could spend nine months in jail and face a fine if, of $10,000 if he is convicted. Getting caught with a small amount of marijuana in Racine will cost a $75 fine. City leaders last week set the price tag for a civil fine for marijuana possession, and until now being caught with pot could cost an offender more than $1,000, including court administrative fees. Alderman John Tate the second wanted the fine set at $1, and Tate also says police should issue citations instead of recommending criminal charges. But Alderman Steve Smetana said, if someone can afford to buy $200 worth of illegal marijuana, they can afford a $75 fine. Governor Tony Evers' state budget proposes decriminalizing small amounts of marijuana for personal use but it is unclear if that will make it through the Republican-controlled state legislature. Governor Tony Evers wanted to expand his power to seize land for bike trails, and the governor's budget includes a provision that allows state and local governments to use eminent domain powers to take land for bike trails. Governor's spokesperson Melissa Baldoff says this is about being responsive to local communities and expanding multimodal transportation options. That once again puts the governor at odds with the Republican lawmakers who drafted a law last year specifically designed to stop state and local governments from annexing private land and recreational or nature, nature trails. Republicans had removed language from the state budget in 2017 that stopped land takings under eminent domain for recreational purposes. State Republican Rob Stassolt said, somebody else's recreational opportunity should not be forced on my property. He notes that St. Croix County pro proposed expanded bike trails that would ev involve taking land from 12 private owners in the town of Richmond. The police report Earl Moore has been found safe and the silver alert has been canceled. The silver alert was issued from Marionette for 75-year-old Earl Moore, who was last seen on April 5th at the relative's home in Marquette, Michigan. He has other relatives in other parts of Michigan. Investors from New York have stepped in to purchase dozens of Shopco locations as the retailer continues to liquidate its remaining inventory before closing for good this summer. USA Today Wisconsin reports the investment firms have purchased 25 Wisconsin stores for a total of $67 million with the intention of either reselling or redeveloping the sites. The purchase includes Shopco's Ashwabanon headquarters and a price of nearly $31 million for a store in Racine. It is unclear which other locations were part of the deal. 
The group Raider Hill Advisors and Monarch Alternative Capital specializes in distress debt and USA Today Wisconsin reports that they will be looking to close similar deals for Shotco properties in 13 other states as well. Shotco filed for bankruptcy in January with the goal of restructuring as a smaller regional retailer and it was later announced that they would close all locations by mid-June. Raider Hill has not commented on the transaction yet. And finally, Christian Yelich clubbed a two-run homer and drove in three runs total as the Brewers doubled up the Chicago Cubs 4-2 in Milwaukee on Sunday afternoon. Travis Shaw singled in the other run for the crew and who took two of three in the series and moved 8-2 overall. Zach Davies pitched into the sixth inning for the win and Josh Hader recorded the final eight outs for the fifth save. Wilson Contreras hit a two-run homer in the sixth inning for the Cubs, who fell 2-7 to seven on the season. Kyle Hendricks dropped a 0-2 or zero to two with the loss. The Brewers now begin a six-game tour of Los Angeles, and first they stop in Anaheim to begin a three-game series with the Angels Monday night. Milwaukee also visits the Dodgers for a three-game series this week. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Wednesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.